welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at a 10.1 inch digital photo frame. That's right, this here is Bene Bella. Essentially a frame that you can go ahead and put your own photos on it remotely using an app. Now overall it has a lot of cool things including face recognition, image filters, pictures, music, videos, and a motion sensor. So it's essentially a smart Frame. Now, if you guys want to learn more about them, check out the link down in the description. And today we'll be unboxing it, trying it out, and even going and uploading some of our own photos on here and seeing how exactly how it performs. So, without further ado, let's check this thing out. All right, so this here's our packaging, this here's our box, and it's Ben and Bella. Uh, as it kind of rotated about, it kind of showcases more terms of detail, so it highlights some of the features which we already kind of highlighted. Uh, but it also has an ability to go ahead and set it up as a gift with photos. You can download it, scan the back, uh, and then re pre upload photos by scanning this right here. So, by doing that this thing will already have photos on there without you physically opening it how cool is that now uh, other than that I mean it definitely has a really great concept uh, let's open this thing up and see what's inside All right, so we get our uh, user manual here. Kind of talks about how to go ahead and set it up, how to go ahead and upload photos, uh, all the different features, including the motion sensor, where the speaker is, and then it shows the app integration between iOS as well as Android, how to upload it via email uh, by simply just scanning the barcode. You can actually go ahead and upload it directly and just kind of mess around with it based off of that. All right. Oh, that's actually a really lovely looking frame. I like that. So it has this really unique looking uh, border. It's got a black and white border with the, with the sensor right over there. Uh, it says remove before using. So this is just like a sticker here. So besides that, I mean, it's pretty straightforward here. So it looks like we get some different cables here. So one is a USB to a USB-C cable to directly upload it via computer. And then you have your power cable right over here. Now the nice thing about this particular frame compared to some of the other ones is that it doesn't really have like an extra stand on it. Usually the other ones will kind of have its own little stand on the back kind of help keeping it support. But this actually has a support built right into it. Now there is a QR code on the back so you can go and scan that and you can upload photos to it directly. And seems like a pretty simple concept. Now on the bottom here you do have your DCN, you have a reset button, your micro SD card port right over here, as well as a USB-C port here too. So you can upload photos directly from a micro SD card or you can scan the QR code and upload it directly to this unit. So let's go ahead and plug it in next and try it out. All right, there we are. So we have a boot up screen. We can open up the vPhoto app here. I'm gonna add the device. And it's gonna ask to insert the connection code. All right, so it's asking for a name. And I'm gonna click on the QR code. There we are, confirm. All right, so I can go ahead and upload a photo directly to this thing, so that's cool. Uh, so to kind of show you how this works, I'm gonna go ahead and upload some photos of my car onto here. And from there, select on which device I'm pushing it to, and then hit push. And now it's essentially, there we are. <laughs> How cool is that? So just like that, it works quite well. Now I can also add videos from my understanding. So if I go into the settings here, and I'm gonna push this video of the car to my uh, device. There we are, and there we are. We have a video playing on here. <laughs> that is so nice and surprising. The quality is very, very nice. Uh, you can see that right there, and that is actually really, really cool and how that works out. So this here is gonna be our main hub, essentially our menu for this thing. You can see that there's a variety of different things here. You have a clock, so I can click on clock, and I can customize the clock based on whatever skin that I like. So for instance, if I like this one, I can click on this, and then I can keep it on this clock right here. So this is actually a great display in terms of a clock goes. Go back, um, I can pick, pick and choose whichever one I want. So if I like this one here, I can keep it at this as well. So this is a great display and just not even just a frame, but you can actually use it as a clock as well. Now under video here, I can play a video that I've internally saved just like this. And I can like increase the brightness of it as well. So that's nice, go back home. 
uh, I can play music, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, you know, you can go ahead and upload a song here and control it based off of that. Uh, you have your weather here, so it shows you exactly what the weather is like uh, as well as how the weather will progress the next day. So that is neat. Uh, you have your settings mode here, so you can essentially kind of pick and choose between the different things from my, my frame, uh, album settings, so you can change the volume. So it's actually a pretty loud speaker in there, so that's really nice to see too. Um, surprisingly, it's got a good amount of like feedback from the touch moments, and then you have your motion sensor, so that's great too. So you can have it automatically wake up when it detects a motion. Uh, under Wi-Fi here, you have your settings, you can reset it in case if you ever have to sell it. Uh, if you click on here, you can actually upload or check out your photos, so you have your internal storage, USB, stuff like that. And I can open a photo right here, and it'll show exactly when it was taken here on the bottom left, shows the time as well, so that's cool too and you can see as we kind of like flitch through it it actually has like a movement to it so that's neat too and you can go ahead and adjust the photo from here meaning you can go and uh, adjust in terms of settings goes you can have a picture by picture like this uh, you can do your own interval you can include a background music that is so cool so there is a lot of potential with this, and this is definitely, I have to say, a smart frame than nonetheless. I really, really like it a lot, and I think it's actually a great addition for anyone who's looking for a frame that you can go and upload photos to, mainly because of the fact that it's got a very nice, sleek design. Again, you just peel that off, and now you have like a really, like, classy look and almost like a futuristic vibe at the same time and there you guys have it so with that said if you guys have any questions about this particular frame feel free to comment down below otherwise thank you again for watching see you guys next time take care now bye bye